Hi guys and welcome back to another playing review. Today we're taking a look at the Mitsubishi KI-21 1A. Now I know this bomber actually is before the H6K4, the plane in our last review. So why am I doing it now and not the H6? Well, for starters, it was really hard to get up any kind of information on this plane. The plane modelled here is not the KI-21 1A. This is the KI-21 uh, Mark II B with some of the guns removed. Um, now, what am I talking about? Well, plain and simple. There is no surviving KI-21 1As. There's only KI-21 uh, 1Bs and 1Cs. So this is not the A. This is actually either the B or the C variant. But they're using the uh, A's weapons loadout. For example, the um, the B had five gunners. It actually had uh, extra belly gunners. Sorry, uh, uh, um, fuselage gunners. Had uh, bigger gas tanks and actually had a bigger bomb load. And ironically, th the funny thing is the plane itself, uh, the bomb loads that they, they reference in various articles I've read and whatnot, including Wikipedia, say that its initial bomb load was over 2,000 pounds, yet this plane only carries 1,000 uh, 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 kilograms. So that's not correct, is it? So is the, ma the machine gun loadout. That's incorrect as well. But I said in the uh, H6K4 video that this plane is much more agile than that one, and it is. This plane's average on high altitude speed is 263 miles per hour. That's a whopping 45, 46, even up to 47 miles per hour faster than what the H6K2 can do. Uh, H6K4, uh, sorry. But at the same time, the H6 dives faster. This plane's maximum speed in a dive is 301 miles per hour, and you guys saw in the last review, I clearly did over 330. So, what is unique about this plane? Nothing. With the exception of the H6 having uh, all its guns in the top, this plane actually only has one gun in the top and actually has more guns in the bottom, which means this is a high altitude bomber, as well as H6K4 is a medium to low altitude bomber. But sadly, unfortunately, uh, one thing that uh, um, Gaijin has sadly overlooked is that this plane uh, was never used as a main line bomber. It was actually stuck to secondary roles it was used for more uh, 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 after initial assaults for example on the attack on Pearl Harbor the, the KI-21 did actually take uh, uh, part in the attack on Pearl Harbor and it was actually used in the second wave not the first wave the first wave is of course being um, uh, being KI-43's Mark II's and Mark I's uh, with 500 pound bombs with ki 21s coming in in the second wave and also used to attack certain carriers but let's take a look at the plane's x-ray profile notice there is no armor and count the gunners one two three yet in every operational manual i've seen it says that there is five gunners there is four 7.7s and one 12.7. I don't see them. They're not here. Granted, the majority of the fuel tanks is sent up, it is centered in the center of the plane, not in the wingtips. So why is it when every time you get hit in the wings, like clearly way out here, you're set on fire? Not near anywhere near the gas tanks. It's always on the e leading edge, edge of the wing. Of course, it's, it does have multiple different sets of wing spars, of course. And it does have three props, which means this plane should be relatively easier to climb with, unlike certain two-bladed prop planes like what the Soviets use. And as you can see, there is no armor on the plane. None. 
So, let's take this plane out for a test flight. Gonna take her maximum bomb load. And we're gonna see how she's like how she is like to try and take off because of course in test flights you have to take off. Now this plane has flaps, which tells me it's the Mark II. The Mark I didn't have flaps. It didn't even have takeoff flaps. It's right there on, the, uh, on, on several sources. Flaps, gears. Let's check out her average rate of climb. I haven't changed the angle of the plane. As you can see, we are clearly gaining speed nicely and altitude. But as you can see, guys, there is still only three gunners. Yet in every document I have read, there is five. So they got that wrong. They've clearly got her on height speed wrong and even the altitude climb wrong. Its service ceiling was 32,800 feet on record. That's, that's the highest the Japanese uh, 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 Air Force got one of these planes before the plane started suffering from ice build up on the wings. Not, And that was the only reason why they, they didn't try and push any higher. It's rate of climb to 6,000 feet was 13 minutes 13 seconds. I can see that, yeah, granted I lost a little bit of speed in the turn. And I am actually losing speed at this angle. Of course, there is no cockpit. And it is one bomb individually with a center, fus center fuselaged bomb bay doors. So yeah, it's a Mark II. It shouldn't be the Mark I. It is actually the Mark II. Of course, having a aced crew, you do reload every 30 seconds. So the plane tries to say it's a Mark I, but everything else about the plane says it's a Mark II. So what is it, Gaijin? Is it the KI-21 Mark One or the KI-21 Mark II? Literally everything about this plane doesn't make any sense. Now of course we're going to dive. We did hit our 300 plus. There you go, 320 is our service ceiling. Of course, we're gonna wiggle here to bleed some speed. This plane, as you can see, is a lot more agile than uh, the H6K. You could never do that in the H6K. course the gears are hydraulic are, hyd are hydraulic and they do take absolutely freaking forever and we're going to come around and taxi on runway two again we are comfortably in coming in at 100 about 100 miles per hour which uh, the source the stall speed for this plane is 63 miles per hour uh, it is very well documented by both the RAF, uh, the Japanese Defense Force, and the American Air Force, who all had captured this plane. And I crashed landed the plane, as you saw, she bounces too high. Which killed my front gunner and my engines. GG. But as you can see, guys, where are the two extra gunners? Why aren't the fuel tanks moved to the opposite side of the wings? 
how how it's supposed to be. And I, I'm not just getting my information from Wikipedia. I'm actually getting my sources from various other places. For example, Pilot Friend, very good, very 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 good resource based uh, uh, website. Of course, the links will be in the video description, so you can check out the links yourself and come to an educated guess of your own. And I'm going to show. I, I'm, I'm not going to show the plane being flown gameplay wise. Um, simply put, it, this is a sort of plane that you will want to free EXP your way across. The only real decent bombers that the Japanese get are honestly they start at the G4 M1, and then of course all the Ki 49s, which are basically just the same bomb uh, bomber. So when I do uh, the review of these planes, I'm just going to review one of them. And slightly go over the actual physical differences of the rest, uh, engine-wise, gun-wise, bomb load-wise. But they're all basically going to fly the same. Um, so yeah, G4M1 or the GAN1 uh, or the Death Star, as it's called, because it's just bristling with with 20 mil cannons. But at the end of the day, guys, um, if you like to bomb. In Japanese, if you're a Japanese player, as you can say, yes, I do own the premium B-17E, and I will be doing a review on that plane. But, I can't recommend any of these bombers. I can't. The G5N1 has such a low stall speed and such weak horsepower that the plane barely even tries to fly. Um, I've seen, in many realistic games, the G5N1 literally crashing on takeoff because those engines that it has are just piss weak i i would skip going down this bomber line and i would stick to the naval bombers uh, like the D d3a1 the b5n2 the b7a2 and the r2y2s as you can clearly see um guys leave in the comments down below what japanese plane you'd like me to review next uh, it does help my channel grow, and it also lets me know what you guys want to see. If you want to see Jets, if you want to see the weird, or if you want to see the serious. So, of course, guys, of course, guys thanks for checking out this video. And please like, favorite, and subscribe if, you, if you're new around here. Greatly appreciate it. Help my channel grow. And I'll see you in the next one. And i like to end all of my playing reviews with a stay safe, have fun, keep your shows flying, Keep your enemies dying. Your Cobra Commander is out, and I'll see you in the next one, my friends. Cornering around. Of course, biggest weakness is the upper uh, uh, the upper uh, uh, chassis, with it only being 16 millimeters. So you've got to be careful of artillery, even light artillery will will wreck you. You have to be careful of HE as well, because HE will wreck you. Um, this isn't spaced armor, unfortunately. So don't give your opponents your sides if you if you can't you know if you can't help it same as the tar tarts not really that strong but it does have some sort of angling to it 25 degree angling so you know unless you're going down the hill with you know